right, so if you're getting this invalid partition table message after installing Windows 10, I'm going to show you how you can fix that. So first thing, you're going to want to restart your computer. Uh, I believe you can press Control Alt Delete or you can just press the power button to turn it off. All right, then we're going to power it back on and we're going to press F2. Okay, this is to go into the BIOS. All right, and this is if you were installing Windows uh, 10 and it worked fine all the way up until it restarted and then it had problems booting. So basically what you're going to want to do, you want to check the um, boot sequence. All right, it's supposed to be UEFI. So this will vary depending on the computer you have, how you do this or how you change this. But here you can see if I press UEFI, now you see it puts the Windows Boot Manager up there. All right, let me show you here again. So if you do le Legacy, it has this stuff. You don't see the Windows Boot Manager. So you press UEFI. What's happening is Windows 10 installs. Usually it will install in UEFI mode, especially if you ran it from the UEFI uh, boot menu option. Okay, but then this was set to only boot Legacy options. All right, so next we're going to go to Advanced Boot Options. We're going to disable um, this enable legacy option ROMs. Um, you can actually leave this on technically, but I like to turn it off to make it completely um, UEFI. And then we're going to also go to secure boot and go to secure boot enable. And we're just going to enable secure boot. All right. Once you've done that, I already actually finished the install of Windows 10. But once you do that, you can click apply and then exit. And then when it reboots, you'll see here that it should boot up normally. Okay, so we're going to wait for this. So here you can see now it's not doing that um, invalid partition table. And you see the thing is loading. And it should actually boot because I finished doing the install already. So here you can see it's already loading. Okay, and there you go. So you can see now Windows just boots up normally and it works fine. Um, if you were doing the install, it will continue the installation. But um, yeah, so that's the problem. If you're having that issue, um, that's usually going to be how you fix it. In some rare cases, it could be your hard drive is messed up if you're not doing a Windows install, if your computer just randomly popped up with that message. A lot of times what I've seen is people's BIOS might get reset. And when their BIOS resets, it changes to default, which might be those legacy options. And that's what will end up messing up your computer. So, yeah, if this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. These are customer computers, though this one, technically this issue is not specific to this computer. So normally I wouldn't be able to show other things on how the repair works and th stuff like that. But if you have questions about this or you're not able to figure it out on your computer, feel free to send me a picture of your um, bio screen. Um, you can also send me like a YouTube video. That's probably easiest. Just make a YouTube video and then tell me that you have a video up on your channel. If you post the link, YouTube, I think auto removes it and then I can't see it. So yeah, if you have any questions, um, feel free to send me a video or tell me that you have a video up on your channel. I'll watch it and I'll try and guide you. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.